Pastor Devon Franklin files for divorce from his wife, Megan Good. Now, this is something, this is a story I've been following for about a month now. There has been rumors and, you know, I, I've been meaning to do a video on it because I've been kind of reading up on and kind of keeping track of what the rumors were and, you know, I just kind of fell off. And then, girl, I just woke up from my beauty nap, as you can tell, and uh, it was just all over Facebook that Pastor uh, Franklin filed um, for divorce. So we're going to talk about that a little bit. I was going to do this on my other channel, but because this is a dating um, and marriage channel, I want to talk about it over here. And I'll probably still do it, do something on Allegedly Jeans because I need to get that channel going. Um, but I would love to know, I would love to know what you, what you think about it. Okay. I love you. Thank you so much for your love and your support. I have been extremely busy the last few days. I have about three books coming out in January. Uh, mm -hmm. Three books coming out in January and hopefully a book in February for Valentine's Day. So I have been crazy busy. That's why y'all haven't seen me. Um, and then I've been working with my designer for my, my Bible study cover. And it's just, it's, it's just not working. So I'm gonna just show it to you really quick. This is an example, a sample cover. Okay. <laughs> Did you see it? <laughs> and um, there's another version of it. I sent it to my cover design and she's like, nah, genius, this is not going to work. So I had to message back my, my designer who designed the cover and said, my cover designer girl said she don't think this is going to work. So. I'm waiting to hear back from him. Of course, he's on the other side of the world, okay? Because I work in an app with my um, people with the covers and all that. So that's that's what I've been I've been busy in for the last two hours. I've just been kind of looking over some um, pictures just to see if I want to choose something else. But I don't know. I have this vision. I have this vision of this cover, and um, I really want it to work. So, but anyways, be sure to subscribe. Thumbs up. All right, share this out if you can. And again, thank you for your love and your support. Yes, the books are still on sale. I really appreciate you guys, your love. Let me tell you, 23 Types of Guys You Might Meet is a good book for you to get. Uh, the Naked Wife, 10 Years a Girlfriend, all of those very good books. Now, Pastor Franklin and um, Megan, you know, I don't like to talk on people's marriages, except, you know, married at first sight. <laughs> Because when a couple gets married, it's it becomes a covenant. It's an agreement between them and God, okay? So, but, you know, I, I just always thought this couple was wrong. I just, I was like, no, this is wrong, okay? <laughs> I think he's a good guy who think he can get the streets out of this girl and you know that only works for 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 a minute. The the who you are at heart. It's is always going to come up. Okay, who a person is. This is why even with 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 Gil and Merla, Gil cannot change. That's who he is. He's a dusty at heart. Okay. Uh making good is for the streets. She ain't no wife. She she's not no. No wife material, if you listen to her interviews and stuff. I really do believe this girl was was used up and hurt. And um, and she said it herself, if you because I've been reading and watching some of her interviews, and you know, she kind of found a good guy who who was fell in love with her and could heal her. And um, uh, they went ahead and got married, and you know, he's been suppressing who she really is. Y'all see some of them pictures? Oh, and you know, there's always been the issue with her being a pastor's wife. Then I'm just finding out that he's Seventh-day Adventist. So my question is, Pastor, why didn't you find a Seventh-day Adventist young woman and marry her? She was the flesh enough for you. 
there was an issue with kids. You know, I wouldn't, anytime I see them, the first thought is, I wonder if they had kids here. Nine years and no babies? Girl, blah. That is the first command God gave to Adam and Eve. Be fruitful and multiply, and especially for Christian couples, having children is extremely important because we are we are being obedient to the word of the Lord. So there is an article. I'm gonna just go ahead and read it. And um I, I want to know what you what you guys think. And again, this is not me talking bad about people, marriages or anything, but ladies, 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 and gentlemen, if you're watching, that's dating for marriage. A husband is a choice. Let me tell you, if you are not healed, a man or a woman can't heal you. Brothers, you you guys want to be in my book, 23 Tests of Guys, you might meet. I talked about, I talked about the um the rescuer, right? The men, the the men, the good guys that usually want to go rescue the, you know, what they say, you could take the how out the street, you can't take the street out of the how, whatever the saying is, but usually it's the it's the good guys that think they can turn around this woman. And she might be turned around for about a minute. But honey, let me tell you, she's going to be like Lot's wife. And she's going she's gonna to finally, she's going to be looking back. Because that's who she is at heart. You can't change her. It might work for about a year or two. This worked for nine years. But based on the interviews and the clips that I've been reading, oh no, honey, there's always been trouble in paradise. So let's read this article. And um, hold on, baby. Let's see what it says here. Okay, it says that uh, Megan Good's husband files for divorce after nine years of marriage by Kristen Mays, post on December 21 at 12 17 p.m. And what magazine? This is The Blast, okay? It says, it seems that Devon Franklin has officially filed for divorce from his wife, Megan Good. Now, you know, it's bad when a wife filed for, for divorce, but when it's a husband, honey, you know, girl, you know, it, it's like mm, bad, <laughs> okay? Mm -hmm. According to legal documents exclusively obtained by The Blast, the case was opened on Monday, December 20th. That was yesterday. And yesterday, I sat right here and listened about an hour of her interviews and stuff. At the Stanley Moss Courthouse in Los Angeles, California, the couple has been married since 2012, but do not have any children together, so there are no concerns about child support. Uh, Megan Goforty is an LA-born actress and model who became a hit with audiences in the 2011 film, Think Like a Man. She also starred in NBC drama series, Deception as Joanne Lacosto. Devon Franklin, 43, is a Hollywood producer, best-selling author, motivational speaker, originally from San Francisco, California. He co-wrote the book of the New York Best Time bestseller, The Weight with Megan Good, and also produced the popular film, Miracles from Heaven, and Heaven is for Real. So they've done a couple of stuff together so we're those those um those i guess will be split 50 50 down the middle i don't know what the law says in in california but I, you do notice though he's getting that divorce before that 10 years remember somebody else did that who did that i can see his face very popular um actor nicole kidman ex-husband tom cruise was that tom cruise who filed for divorce at nine years and she was like shocked she was like Please, sorry if I'm getting the names wrong, but I just always remember that she was so shocked because she was like, everything was okay. And the man went and filed for divorce in nine years. There's so something about that nine years and that 10 years. Okay. Just early this month, Devon, prom Devon promoted her new Amazon Prime video series called Harlem, which premiered on Friday, December 3rd. The show features your friends trying to live out their dreams in New York City, although frankly wasn't at the premier event in New York City. He supported her in spirit in an Instagram story talking about the premiere. He said he was so proud of his love. Now, that's a big sign right there. You mean to tell me he wasn't at the, the wife premiere? Y'all not ready for this, he wrote in caption alongside this video. I'm so proud of my love uh, at Megan Good. She's one of the most talented actresses on the planet, and she's funnier than you may know, but I'm so glad you finally get a chance to see her do it uh, all as Camille Parks in the new Amazon show, Harlem. Oh my God, that's a nice name. Huh? That's a nice name, Camille Parks, right? 
That's a very nice name. Camille Parks. I might check it out, but I don't like her enough to watch it. Okay, I don't, I don't, I don't really care for her, so I wouldn't even waste my time. Uh, he added, it streams on December 3rd. Amazon the Dupius, uh will be your new year favorite. So Sex in the City has has nothing on her. Yes, it does. If y'all copying, if y'all copying a show, it does. Okay, good response to the prayers. Mm -hmm. That's them. They look pretty together, but you, mm -hmm. you can't take the streets out of her, sir. In December of last year, Essence joked that the couple was in baby-making mood after Good announced her 30-day fitness challenge. I'm trying to uh, really get in shape, Megan Good said at the time, and I'm trying to get ready for babies. I'm trying to be in the best shape of my life so that I can start from a good point and be in a good place when I get to the gym. I don't think she wanted no kids, child. Nine years, you ain't had no baby? Girl, please. Earlier this year, Good told the, the real that she wanted to take her time before committing to raising children, even though she had experienced raising monkey. Wait a minute. So at eight, after eight years of marriage, you want to take your time to commit to raising children? Isn't that a discussion that should have been had before y'all got married? She probably say, "Yeah, eventually I want to have kids." Huh? That should have been that. that mm. <sighs> Child, let me go. I gotta go back to bed. Mm, I'm going to take my time. Good said at the time I had monkeys a few years ago, and now I have two hairless cats. I'm kind of like a never, never land person, so I'm going to wait in the right time. I'm going to take my time. Nine years. You talk about waiting. Nine years of marriage. And you waiting to have kids? Girl, she don't want to have no babies. And St. Clair is settling down and having children play any role in the divorce. But the title of Franklin's new book, Live Free, has definitely caused fans to speculate. Girl, that 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 girl didn't want to have no kids, child. He she she uh, she got healed. And then he's like, she's like, oh hell no, I'm I'm going out here to live my life. Okay, and so the, let this be an example because see what he did, what he did is what a lot of a lot of a lot of women do. You take up a man, you think you can fix him and heal him, honey, but soon as they get get um, as soon as they get on their feet, girl, they're gonna be gone. Okay, they're not gonna be staying with you. <laughs> uh, you know, of course, uh, divorce is for any couple is. Is a hard, is a hard, is a hard thing. But um, you know, this can be an example for all of us. Uh, for those of you who are still still dating for marriage, make sure make sure you're healed before you get married, married, and make sure you um, you're getting married for all the the right the right reasons. And and men, please stop being rescuers. Okay, stop stop trying to rescue the woman. They can't be rescued, honey. They 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 just looking for somebody to fix them up. It's a, there are some women out there that that's just like guys. Oh, here's the picture. Uh -huh. There are some guys out there, women out there that's just like guys. They're just looking for somebody to heal them. Okay, and that's not you're not a healer. Okay, I know some of you crazy women talk about. Uh, Oh, I got a healing spirit, so that's why God sent me broken man. Use a lie from the pits of hell. Stop calling the Lord's name, child. That's her Halloween party, honey. He after he was in in L.A. He she was in L.A. at the party, and another one she had on, and he was in Atlanta. But anyways, let me know. Let me know what you think. Um, you know, divorce is divorce for any couple. It's not. It's not good, but. You know, divorce, you know, 50% of marriages, 50% of marriage in churches do not work out. And I really think if, if women, those of you who are single and on my channel and you're dating for marriage, if you apply the lessons I'm teaching you, I guarantee you, you will not choose wrong. And maybe for some of you, maybe the choice is to stay single because I made that choice at 28. I remember making that choice. I'm like, Either I'm going to have what I want as a husband or, or I'm just going to stay by myself. Okay. Cause I can't, I can't marry wrong. You know, when you, as then you get married and you intertwine your life and then your kids and it's just crazy. And, uh, her delicious tonight has been, been happy. Listen to me, Michael. 
happily married going on um, nine years. And I'm not saying we don't have our um, hard points. But, uh, you know, like he get on my nerves sometimes. Y'all would not believe Big Michael get on my nerves sometimes. <laughs> okay, but that's just a part of being married, okay? And you need to know what your weak li weakest link is. And our weakest link was communication. But then I figured it out. I figured it out. I was like, this doesn't make any sense. Why we have issues communicating. He's in marketing and sales. He's an excellent communicator. I'm an author. I'm an excellent communicator. Why we got problems communicating. And what I realized was my talk to me, like he's talking to one of his, they call them vendors, people he work with vendors. And I'm like, uh, -uh I'm your wife. You know, you got to change how you communicate. I never forgot that day when the, with the, with the rugs, I, I decorate my house for all seasons and I have these spring rugs that I, that I put out in the hall. So we have a long hallway coming in the door and I took them up for the baby to ride, uh, his bike. And, um, I, I said, Mike, the floors look really nice without the rugs. Right. And he answered, was his name? He said, whatever he answered, it wasn't what I was looking for. And I, that's when I got it. I was like, that's it. That's it. He's talking to me like when I ask him a question, it's like he's talking to one of his vendors and you can't, you can't joke. just, and I tell him all the time, answer the question I asked you. Don't tell me about nothing else. Just the question I asked. So you have to know what your weakest link is. But you need to, you need to, you need to choose right. Every couple, every marriage go through. There is not one marriage that do not go through. And that's why I don't, I, I don't idolize marriage. You will not hear me idolizing no couple. I love Ciara and Russell, but you know, rumors is that she's acting out too. But you know, I just love them because they remind me of me and Big Mike. And so no perfect marriage. I, you don't idolize people because you don't know what's going on in their home, honey. Okay. All right, babes. I love you. I'm going to go. I have to spend a couple of hours looking to decide what I'm going to do about this book cover. But remember, all these books are on sale. Read this book, 23 Tasks of Guys. Okay, ladies, you will not go wrong choosing if you read that book. Okay. All right, babes. Love you. Talk to you later. Bye.